Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how you can start your own business online with affiliate marketing. So this has been a big request probably over the last couple of months. Um, I've been focusing on Shopify and Facebook mainly and we will be using Facebook in this video and I'm going to be doing a series, all right? So today I'll do like an introduction to affiliate marketing, um, then we'll do like how to build landing pages, how to get traffic and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to try and keep my videos for around about 20 minutes because I want you guys to um, get the video. I've got my timer on here. I want you guys to get the um, get everything in small sections so you understand it more and you don't get um, so surrounded with a bunch of information. So if you don't know what affiliate marketing is, it's basically, um, let's get this in the, in the view here. It's um, when you promote other people's products uh, for a percentage, okay? So for a percentage of um, money, that's a bit unstable there. And you make a commission, right? Now, um, what I do is there's tons of ways you can get traffic. You can get it through ranking your websites in Google. You can get it through Facebook, AdWords. You can get it through solo ads. So I'm going to be talking about getting a traffic through uh, doing affiliate marketing with actual paid traffic, okay? This isn't about ranking websites and stuff. Um, and today, so this has been a massive request. So this is why I'm doing it. Um, today we're going to talk about the structure and kind of some of the mistakes that people make when they're doing this. So my recommendation would be if you can actually create your own course instead of promoting other people's stuff or other people's products because you get more money. Okay, and you're going to get a bigger return on your investment. Uh, that's just the way it is. Um, and on Facebook, stuff is getting pretty expensive now. Okay, so you need to maximize your profits as much as you can. Now, uh, the number one, I'm going to um, assume a lot of you guys already have a grasp on this stuff. You already kind of have an, an idea of affiliate marketing. The, the biggest mistake that people do is they try and um, go onto Facebook and they do an advert and they advertise to the audience, but they put an affiliate link in here, okay? You can't advertise a straight affiliate link and it's and it's never gonna, it will never work for you even if you can because you're never gonna make money. And I'll tell you why. There is a system in place. You need to have a system in place to make money with affiliate marketing or whether you're promoting a course um, or anything like that when you're doing landing pages and stuff like this, okay? So what what we do, in this video, it's just going to be an introduction, okay? And recently, I just crossed 100K on a fitness um, thing I'm doing on Facebook. Now, this isn't an affiliate offer. This is a um, membership for someone that I know. But she crossed over 100K. So th we know this stuff works. This stuff is incredible. It works. And um, Facebook, solo ads, all that sort of, sort of stuff is incredible um, traffic sources for that. So this is how it works, guys. This is the structure, okay? You have an opt-in page where you give away something for free, okay? Um, it could be an ebook. It could be a, just check my mic. It could be an ebook. It could be a training um, videos, training videos, anything for free, like with your fitness, make money online, stuff like that, anything for free, okay? And then put the email in. Next, what happens is they get, they get put onto your email list down here, okay? But we'll cover that in a second. The, first, the next step is they go to a one-time offer. Now, I'm not talking about doing webinars and stuff here. I'm talking about giving away free stuff. They go to a one-time offer. On that offer, you usually sell something between like maybe $9 and $47. I've seen a $57, but that's what I usually do, okay? Now, obviously, if you're doing affiliate marketing, it's going to be a bit different, okay? Because you're going to probably lose quite a bit of that. So you might want to sell something that's a little bit higher in price. Something like maybe something that's around about 30 bucks to maybe 60 bucks. And you probably won't get as many sales, but you will get some money back um, on those things. But you're, going to, you're getting a lot less money, so you're going to have to go a little bit higher, find an offer that's a little bit higher, okay? So this is going to be a one-time offer, your OTO. This is your. This is like just an opt-in form. Now, what happens here is they either purchase or like there's a very complex system. We're going to keep it basic, but what happens is once they purchase, you can actually have another one-time offer if you want. And you can try and sell them something else for like nine bucks or whatever. And then the people that don't purchase will go down to your email list. But we're not going to do that in these tutorials, okay? We're going to try and keep it nice and simple for you. Don't worry about any of this stuff here. You don't need that, okay? So what's going to happen is they put in their email, you get their email, they go through, they might make a purchase, they might not, 
and they go to here. Now what happens with this money here? This money in particular is going to pay for some of your advert cost. Okay, I say some because you're probably never really going to get a, a positive ROI on the on this stuff. You, uh, I think we did a campaign recently. We spent um, three thousand five hundred on ads. Okay, this was a test campaign. We made back um, one thousand nine hundred and something on this here. Okay, so we made back a, a large chunk of money. Now the biggest mistake everyone thinks, uh, everyone does, sorry, is they think that they're going to make their money back in this section here. This is incorrect, okay? You're going to make your money, guys, down here in the email marketing. That is the cream of the crop. That's where you're going to make your money. That's where it's all going to happen, okay? So this is how it, this is how it works, guys. So you get the email. They go to your list. They might purchase your one-time offer. If it's an affiliate offer, it's going to have to be um, a little bit higher in price because you're going to be taking a cut. Um, that's why I suggest trying to maybe do your own stuff if you can, your own products, your own training. But anyway, we're talking about affiliate marketing, marketing here. Then uh, you can have an OTO offer, another offer on top of that if they purchase. Um, be, uh, sorry, a one -time, another one-time offer or one-click upsell. One-click upsell is probably the proper name for it. Um, and then what happens is, um, because they've already purchased from you, they are going to possibly purchase from you again. Now the price structure here, there's two ways you can do it, okay? You can have a high price item here, and then if you do a, a one-click upsell, sell them a cheaper item. Or you can do a cheap item here and try and sell them a higher item. Don't try and sell them two high-priced items, okay? That's not really going to work. Um, and don't try to sell them two low-priced items because you're going to undersell yourself, okay? Make sense? Pretty easy. So that's, and I'm going to show you how to make all this stuff, okay, in, in, the, in the training series. I will be getting that out for you, okay? Now, um, we'll talk about the email marketing um, side of things. Um, I just need to pick this up real quick, if I can. All right, so we'll talk about the email marketing, uh, the traffic side of things in another video. This is just a basic structure, but we use solo ads and Facebook. A lot of people hate solo ads, but I'll show you how to do it properly, okay? Now... I, I still use solo ads today, guys. So um, here's the here's the um, here's here's what happens in the back end. This is the magic, okay? They are on your email list, and um, now depending on how technical you want to get, okay, depending on what email marketing platforms you use and all that sort of stuff, you can ask your affiliate to put a tracking code on that one-time offer, okay? So your first email could be, hey, here's, here's your free content, but I noticed you forgot to purchase the one-time offer. Uh, and then you'll have another email for the people that did purchase the one-time offer, okay? And you'll say, hey, here's your free content, and maybe tell them a little bit of a story or something. Okay, so you have your off free stuff here, a bit of a, um, bit of a sell, and then you might try to sell them the one-time offer. Now, this is a very complex system, we're going to just stick to basic now, okay? I might do an advanced stuff later on, but we're just going to stick to basic, okay? So let's just say you have now, they've now gone through your, your front-end funnel. It's not really a big funnel, but your front-end funnel, and they've either made a purchase or they haven't made a purchase, okay? You're going to send them an email straight away. In that email, you're going to say, hey, here's your free content. You have to give them that free content. Then you're going to try and kind of, pinpoint a problem now everything has to flow nicely guys for example if you're giving away your free product your free opt-in okay on facebook your opt-in on facebook let's say 10 tips on how to get on how to get fit for the summer okay let's just say that i don't know right your one-time offer your oto has to be about fitness otherwise they're going to be like what the hell is this and they're not going to purchase off you okay so this might be um a, a nine a 27 dollar course or let's say a 50 a 47 dollar course and you get 50 percent and it might be a course on how to it might be a, a, a course on just how to get fit right some more tips on how to get fit this is fitness okay so that flows now in here you're going to have to either, I don't know, white lie, I suppose, but you're going to have to try and solve a pro like pinpoint a problem. So 
they obviously want to get fit. So you have to say them, hey, you know, this problem here, people don't, people do this, they don't work out, they don't like, identify a problem straight away. You want to identify a problem and trigger that in the head, okay? Identify a problem, guys. On your second email, the next day, day number two, and guys, I'm serious. You have to be good at this stuff or, or it's not going to work. If you just go in there and do like a few lines in your email, don't even bother, okay? It's hard now. There's a lot of competition out there. You have to pinpoint a problem, okay? And you have to make them feel like, oh, yeah, I've got that problem, okay? I, I need a solution to this problem, okay? And email number two, this is what we do. On day number two, we talk about the problem some more. We don't pitch anything yet. We talk about the problem some more, okay? And we maybe offer them some more free stuff, some more value, whether it be a blog post, whether it be a video. You can pay someone on Fiverr to do a video, okay? Then on day three or four, I'll just say day three in this video, we send them another email. We'll go down here. Uh, actually, we'll clean this up a little bit, okay? Just to keep everything nice and clean. On day three, we then do them a pitch, we find an affiliate offer, whether it be, um, and I suggest a cheapish one, okay? About, about 95 bucks to 300, 400 or something, okay? That's, trust me, that's cheap, okay? You're going to do a pitch and say, hey, you know, we've got a solution to your problem now. But it has to be related to the original stuff, your fitness stuff, okay? Has to be related, this is where you're going to start to make all of your money back, guys. But no one has the patience to get to this point. This is where you start to make your money. On day four, we might ask our um, affiliate, if we're doing fitness, we might say, hey, can we get some before and after pictures? And we might send some results to hit home and be like, yo, these are some results you can get. Now, depending on, once again, how technical you get, you can separate your purchases and your ad to cards. So we're not going to talk about that right now. So you've, you're basically going to like, you're going to have a pitch here. You're going to then show them some results if you can. Now guys, there's lots of like, a lot of guys are going to try and get into the make money online niche. Guys, stay away from that stuff. It's way too expensive now. Okay. Well, you've got fitness, you've got paleo, you've got sports. I've seen lots of sports courses. Um, what else we've got? Like meditation, business, which I suppose is make money online, spiritual stuff. There is so many, you can go on ClickBank and find so much stuff. Okay. Now, and keep a good relationship with your, with your affiliate managers or stuff like that because you can ask for banners, you can ask for discounts, you can ask for review copies, okay? Now, what you want to do is you want to give them some reviews, uh, testimonials and stuff, okay? Next, on day five, you want to ask your, um, maybe ask your affiliate manager if you can get a review copy of the, the product and do a review on it on day five, Okay? That's adding more value. Don't try and sell it to them on day five. Just do a review. Like, have a look inside. Say, hey, this is what's going on. These are some videos you can think. Maybe have a little bit of a sales pitch at the bottom, but don't be full trying to sell it. Okay? Now on day six. Now, of course, your days are going to be different to mine. This is just an example, guys. Remember. Day six. You're going to say, hey, we're closing this down. And you might not be, but that's just scarcity. We're closing this down within 24 hours. Okay? Or the price is going up or something. Then you're going to get a ton of sales. You'll probably get your most sales at this point. On day seven, you're going to say, hey, it's closing in three or four hours. That gives them just enough time to go home and get the credit card and purchase or like something like that, okay? So you're going to say, hey, we're closing it down in three hours. That is a, guys, that is a seven-day marketing email funnel right there. That, my friends, is where you're going to make all of your money. You are not going to make it on the front end. That's why when you are um, advertising straight or trying to advertise straight affiliate links on Facebook, it will never, ever, 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 ever work. Ever. Ever. It will never work for you. You might make sales. You might get approved, but you probably get your account banned later on. You might make some sales, but you will never make profit unless you are retargeting, which we'll talk about later on in the stuff as well. Okay. That, my friends, is a seven-day funnel. Now, now what happens, okay? We're going to finish this video off. This is what happens now. You don't want to let that email list die. Day eight, day nine, day 10, day 11. 
you oh, actually no, you want to actually slow it down a little bit, okay? You, you might you okay, we'll go day 9, day day 11, and we'll go day 13. Okay? You want to try to get into like you don't want to do it every day at this point. On day 9, you might send them a blog post. Just some free value, okay? You're not selling them anything here. You can get someone to write that for you. Just start, you can even do it on a free Wix website if you'd like, okay? On day 11, you might send them another blog post. Day 13, you might send them a video that you paid someone on Fiverr to do talking about fitness, okay? Just free value, nothing crazy and this sort of stuff. Then, on day 14, I will say, let's say we'll leave it for a bit, day 14, 15, let's say we'll let them kind of sit for three days, day 16, I'm going to find another affiliate product, guys, and sell that, okay? Now, we're talking about fitness here. I'm going to go to ClickBank and find a paleo book or a health cooking book or just a normal cooking book. Now, you can start to diversify out into different kind of stuff. You don't have to be so, um, so congruent. You can be a little bit sidetracked here. So, if you're in fitness, you can do a cooking book, okay? You can do a health cooking book if you want. You can do a paleo diet book. You can start to advertise again, but it doesn't need to be really, really, really specifically niche related. Okay, you just want that on the first um, on the first seven days. Um, on your like, you want your, um, your your you want your opt-in to be free fitness, whatever. You want your OTO to be fitness related, and you want your main product that you're promoting in the first seven days to be fitness related or whatever your niche you're in. So on day sixteen, we might promote a paleo book to them. Okay. Cool, cool, right? On day 17, we might ask them if we can have a review copy of the Paleo book and we might do a video going through the Paleo book um, showing them what it is, okay? And then on day 18, we might say, hey, this book's running out. Some sort of scarcity, okay? Scarcity. And then day, day 22, day 28, day 30, we might do more value and then on day 35, we might promote, can you see, you can't see that, can, you can just see that. On day 35, we might promote another product. Guys, this, my friends, is how you start an online business in affiliate marketing. You will never, ever make the money straight away from the Facebook ads. It's way too expensive now. You are going to make the money in the back end on your email marketing. Depending on how good you are at that, you're going to make good money. When you first start, you're going to be a little bit rusty. You're going to need to learn a lot of trial and error. You probably will lose some money. But that is it. And it is a rinse and repeat process, guys. Offer value, offer value, offer value, offer value. The one I'm doing right now in the fitness niche, we are, um, we filled it out. Uh, we started with five days, okay? It was for, I'll tell you kind of the process just before we cancel this off for 20 minutes or 18 minutes. So we had a five-day series where we advertised this course that my friend made, okay? Five days. Then six, seven, uh, and that was it for about a month. We didn't do anything else. And then on like seven, nine, ten, we did value. Then on 12, 13, 14, 15, we did a whole four days of promoting ClickBank fitness products because they've already purchased in to our fitness membership. Uh, that's the value, sorry. They've all, all already purchased into our fitness membership in those five days. And the people that didn't will still probably be interested in the other product that we might have uh, to advertise to them. Or the people that really don't want to buy, you can tag them off your email marketing list and get rid of them if you want, okay? To keep your, keep your open rates um, at a good percentage. So that, people, in a nutshell, I'm gonna go now, it's very hot, I've got some things to do. But that, in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can start an online business. But just remember, guys, the number one thing to remember, you are going to make your money, okay, in the email marketing. Now, unless you're selling a, unless you're getting a commission from a 997 course or, or, or plus, okay, it's going to be hard to make a lot of money in the first couple of days. You have to you have to um, juice the people up with, like, what, like I said, some value, a problem, 
and then feed them the pitch later on with cheaper stuff. With 997 stuff, it's easy because you can send a ton of traffic to that to make money. You've got 997 clicks to get a sale, right? Or if you're an affiliate marketer, half. If you're doing affiliate products like this video, half it, okay? But when you're trying to sell a um, $100 product and you get 50 bucks, you have to try and get a sale within 50 clicks, okay? You have to try and get a sale within 50 clicks. If you've only got an um, open rate of 10% on your emails, which is standard, you're going to have to send a lot of traffic to that. So you want to make sure you're... That's what I mean. This stuff isn't easy. It's hard. So you have to make sure when you're sending, um, when you're sending um, traffic to a, a low offer like that, $100, and you're getting a $50 um, uh, commission, you have to make sure you're sending the good, good quality traffic that's going to purchase. That's why I say, guys... Make sure you do stuff that's like kind of like a, in, in your five day email sequence, stuff that's like a hundred bucks to like 500 even or 400. Okay, you wanna be, you wanna be getting like, you, you should be getting to the point, like maybe when you start, try to stay a little bit low, but you should be getting to the point where you can sell them a $400 product. Easy. You should be getting to that point. Um, once you've figured this out, once you've mastered it. If you don't know how to write emails, guys, go on, go on Upwork. I just got some guy to write six emails for me for the Ecom Turbo affiliate um, email swipes because I couldn't be bothered doing it. All right, guys, and it cost me like 20 bucks. Super easy. You can pay people to do the um, emails for you. They'll do a complete whole sequence. They'll do a three-month sequence, sequence if you want, a two-month sequence, sequence for you. And that is it, guys. I'm going to bounce. Enjoy your day. And uh, if you haven't already, join OnlineSamurais.com. That is my Facebook group where we teach you guys how to make a ton of money online.